Mia Zo Wood Reggie Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to fine tuning Future Beat Moonlander 2 to make it working at most efficient rate which means that you pay the least amount of electricity bill but get the most hashing power for Future Beat Moonlander 2 Before we start fine tuning these two Moonlanders we should make sure that we read through the hardware section on our old friend. This is the speed before fine tuning with the frequency setting up at 756 MHz. Let's see what will happen after we fine tuning it. I improve the setup a little bit. I take off the fan at back of Moonlander and instead I use this USB fan to cool down Moonlander. This setup will decrease the noise level and at the same time keep Moonlander to be very cool. Our goal is to tune the core voltage at around 0.725 volt. The negative probe should touch to the ground pin. Positive probe should touch to the positive core voltage pin. So where are these two pins? The ground pin is first pin on the left. Positive core voltage pin is the top pin on this black box. Let's measure it out. Okay, the first Moonlander 2's core voltage is at 0.753 volt. And let's see the second one. So the second Moonlander 2's core voltage is at 0.72. This means that for the first one, we need to decrease voltage to 0.725. And for the second Moonlander 2, we need to increase voltage to 0.725. The first part is for adjusting the memory voltage. The second part here is used for adjusting the core voltage and we only need to take care of this second part. To decrease the voltage to 0.725, we need to do counterclockwise rotation of the second part. You can see the bottom of this part is a flat surface. That's the indicator for you to know position of the voltage. We need to let this flat surface face the bottom right corner of this square. Okay. Like this. And for this one, we need to do clockwise rotation and just rotate a little bit and it will do the job. Okay. After we done that, plug it in, measure it again to see if we reach our goal. Okay. The second one is okay. We just need to repeat this process until we got 0.725 volt. This one check. This one check. 
So after we finish fine tuning Moonlander 2, we will restart the mining process and uh, compare the speed. Well, I see a little bit improvement, but I believe you guys already know how to bump up the core voltage to increase mining speed. To reach the high mining speed, you need to have a good USB hub which can provide sufficient current to each USB port. Having fun to tune your Moonlander 2. Also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.